Yo, what's up there guys? It's Immersive Gamer 83 and thank you very much for stopping by. Today is a really good day actually. We've managed to hack in virtual reality support for a new early access title called Eden Star. And so far, everything looked really nice to be honest. Uh, it's, uh, I believe it's a DX11 title. I believe that's the case. And uh, it runs on the Unreal Engine. So, this is a sort of automated cutscene now, so I'm not controlling anything at the moment. Um, immediately though, I can tell you yeah, that the field of view is off. Looks very nice though. Looks really, really nice. Uh, would you like to enable the game tutorial? I should probably press yes, but you guys don't want to look at walls of text, do you? You want to see how the game looks and if there's anything that can be done with, with it here. Um, right, wow. That's some real bright sun, sun going on there. So what we got? Got comets crashing to Earth. Um, yeah, so the actual 3D support that we've got going on here, we've got full head tracking going on. There's no positional tracking, I don't believe. No, no positional tracking. But we have got the geometry 3D going on. Let me have a quick look. So I'll just show you that there. One second, guys. Um, so... You can see there we've got geometry support going on and it looks really nice there's no shadow anomalies everything looks really good what we got then it's over there oh wow look at the sun sort of bursting through the tree and that that looks very nice this game is actually running very well Timber! Look at all the effects going on from the light there. That was fantastic. So I'm guessing I'm collecting resources. Apparently, this game's a little bit like Minecraft or Summit, so I can kind of. This is pretty much me chopping down a tree, but I'm using my crazy power glove. Look at those effects there. That's, that's crazy. So yeah, one of the things that I would like to say initially as well is uh, there's no field of view slider, but the uh, developers are working on that. They said that that is coming. So that's going to be, you know, I'd say that if the devs get wind of this video, we need it to go all the way to 120. We need the field of view to go all the way up to 120 for it to feel nice. So what we got so I've noticed I've noticed in the top top corner up there you can kind of see it says nightfall in 1145 so I'm guessing that bad shit comes out at night time so we'll have to wait and see so these sort of levels look like I can get up them let's try and get up oh yeah we got up there we got up there nice that didn't seem too complicated get up here as well ooh and the landmass opens up a bit more that's pretty interesting this might even be proced procedurally generated I don't know if it is that's that's serious impressive um, there is like a building mechanic as well I don't know I don't know how it's gonna work but these sorts of games are right up my street man we can actually you know these, these sorts of games depending on what sort of blocks that blocks they give you and what sort of you know I don't just want to I don't just want to use cubes like Minecraft I want because the game looks so nice it would be nice of them to give us a bit more freedom with the architecture and uh, I don't know how much that will be asking but it would be nice what we got on this scroll wheel oh I can't really read that. Let's have a quick look. I'll lip it lean in a little bit. Micro disruptor cell. Fiber. Don't know. Foundation. Who knows? Oh, <clears throat> not too sure. Not too sure. That's all to come anyway. 
but yeah this uh the actual game itself looks very nice the flora and fauna everything sort of feels destructible um i don't think it's voxel based i don't know if we can do any digging yet maybe we can maybe i don't know that's something that needs to be confirmed or denied i'll let you know when i find out whoa see what else we've got got a menu oh let's have a look menu can't really see Le i can lean in i've got positional in the menus oh look we look pretty badass to be honest yeah man he looks pretty badass we've got a pistol and a rifle is that right weapons pistol secondary so it's a secondary so I've got weapons then um, I'd like to try them actually see if we can get them out uh, is it gonna be I don't know be nice to find how, how to use weapons oh lovely So, I've only got 12 bullets though, so that's not going to be doing anything, is it? I probably should be building some sort of base, to be honest, but I didn't watch the tutorial. Because I'm sure you guys don't want to read through walls and walls and walls of text. Oh, certain death looks like it's that way. Looks like we can climb up on here though. It's actually running very well, to be honest. I noticed a couple of drops when there was crazy stuff going on, but other than that, everything appears to be running quite well. Ooh. Yeah, you can kind of tell the, the, the field of view is definitely wrong when you're doing this sort of stuff. It just feels just a little bit uncomfortable, to be honest. love the fact that everything's kind of destructible tunnel yeah I wonder how deep the building mechanics go be nice if there was vehicles and such like sort of like a I don't know uh, space engineers maybe but I don't know like actual on planets that would be pretty cool we got there maybe cool the geezer can jump as well got some skills well we are very high now probably shouldn't be jumping off of that that will probably end badly oh we can see is that is that the crash site oh look there's a massive ship up there look ships up there weird Geomet you know, geometric sort of shaped ships there. Are they rocks? Yeah, rock formations and the smoke coming off the landscape. That's probably the crash site. Big, what appears to be like a laser coming off of that one. Let's go and check it out. Oh, shit. That was alright. Thought we were going to hurt ourselves then. What we got here? Oh dear. Alright guys. Got no trouble. I just want that steaming pile of lasers red stuff. You let me in. I don't really want to kick off yet because it's I'm, I imagine night time's the time it'll kick off. I want that though. They're burrowing under the ground. Oh shit, it's kicked. I feel like they should be dead. Um, I've only got one bullet. I've got 72. So hopefully I can reload. Reload doesn't appear to be the normal key.
What the fuck was that? That was really cool in 3D. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna try and find out what the fuck that red shit is over here. So, I think I have to go and deal with this geezer. Oh, there's more of them. Ugly little buggers, aren't they? Why is there so much heat? Is this like an alien planet? Be nice to know what the crack was. Is this their house or something? A little bit of lag there. That noise probably makes others come, like the trem tremors or something. I don't know, I should probably run, I don't really want to be wasting all, all these bullets. Come on. Eight bullets left. Three minutes till nightfall. I wonder what happens at nightfall. Do you think that like all the beasts come out? It would be crazy if this is actually procedurally generated. You can kind of see things kind of just sort of fading in slowly. I don't know if that's a glitching effect or whether it's a setting or what. Iron. The actual destructive me mechanics are really cool in this game. I'd imagine it is worth looking at, to be honest. Depends how, how active the devs are as well as to whether the support will be any good. There was a there was a, a, a game that I really wanted to get working in in, in VR, and it was called. Starforge, quite a similar sort of concept to this actually, but you know, you, it, it was sort of first person, survival, there was insects and stuff, and it, that was like a Unity game, I couldn't ever get it working, there was rumours about it getting official support, but that was one where literally the, the, dev, the devs of it kind of gave up I think. They, they sold loads, loads of games. They sold loads of games. They made their money on early access and kind of like just fucked it, you know, fucked it off and just gave up sort of thing. They managed to get it up to release 1.0 and that was it. Left it, left it be. Oh, oh, oh dear. I thought that was the. Uh, oh, we've got one minute now. Where's the sun? All right. One minute till sunset wait and see what's going on it looks very nice lighting in this game is very impressive those particle effects look really cool as well 30 seconds until nightfall that's probably the only reason I've sort of dragged this video on a little bit so fast because uh, I'm just looking to see if anything's going to going to happen as soon as we hit nightfall. That, uh, they look very beautiful. Maybe like the uh, flora and fauna starts to glow, Avatar style. I noticed that I am sort of getting.
few frame rate drops here and there actually now. Press L to activate your light. Ooh, that looks cool. I imagine that there's going to be uh, a load of people following us in a minute. Not people, but um, enemies. These fuckers, yeah. Oh, there we go. Daybreak in three three minutes. Oh dear. Okay, so that's scary. Okay, so I'm guessing everything's going to be hunting for me now. Hopefully I can just kind of be elusive and just sort of uh, stay away from things. Yeah, visibility down to bare minimum. Things look cool though, like that rock looks very nice. Yeah, I'm starting to get a bit of stuttering now. I imagine I might be uh, sn snuck upon. The actual frame rate problems don't seem to. Oh wow, look at that! Looks really quite beautiful, to be honest. The frame rate doesn't seem to be all the time it's sort of intermittent which makes me think that it's opt optimization well this is still very unoptimized code to be honest I imagine so I'm sure there's a lot they can do with it I wonder what that red shit coming out with, la with the laser coming out is I don't know I keep expecting to see loads of bugs and stuff and there's like a big red thing in on on the on the, the the flashing bar, which makes me kind of think that there's going to be like it looks like a radioactive sign. So I don't know if I'm dying because of that stuff or what. I don't know. I was expecting it to be a bit more crazy though. So let's wait and see what goes on. Yeah. So. Uh, this was more of a, a proof of concept, to be honest. Not really. I don't really know what this game has to offer for you, or, you know, for you guys looking to play it. But all I can confirm, it looks pretty good for early access. It looks pretty good considering it's early access. Go on then, blow up. I think the tremors make more more of them things come along. Yeah, so very very fun because it's early access, worth a look. Um, and yeah, it works in VR, even though it is rudimentary and basic hacked input. Ammo depleted. Right, <laughs> that looks like a good time to call it. Then. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I really appreciate that. And uh, if you, yeah, if you want to, if you want to hit hear any more about it put uh, put some comments down if you've got anything to say or if you, if you want to see some more virtual reality content smash that like subscribe to the channel and uh, i always subscribe back so thanks for watching guys that's most of gamer 83 out take care bye bye